While CBS continues to flood the news cycles with different information about their upcoming content, they are making headlines this week for entirely different reasons. It has been reported that Jim Lanzone, CEO of CBS Interactive, will be stepping down from his post after nearly eight years on the job as his contract is expiring this year. While at CBS, Lanzone oversaw the launch of CBS All Access, which by all accounts helped rocket CBS onto the digital media landscape. Under Jim's leadership, CBS All Access and Showtime streaming services built up a combined 8 million total subscribers subscriber base. Impressive considering that they didn't even have streaming services when he was originally hired. Stepping into the lead role for CBS Interactive is Lanzone's right-hand man, Mark Debevoise. Mark has worked with CBS since 2011 under Lanzone, so it's unclear what, if any, real changes are going to occur for both CBS and Showtime streaming services and their future plans for content. The news of Lanzone's departure comes just days after it was announced CBS and Viacom had reached an official merger deal that had been approved by their parent holding company, National Amusements. This $30 billion merger seems to be on track, with potential for the entire process to be completed as early as this December. Both Viacom CEO Bob Backish and CBS CEO Joe Yaniello have stated that they do not plan on going anywhere and have reportedly re-upped their employment deals for the next four years. CBS and Viacom famously split apart as companies back in 2006, fracturing resources and franchises in its corporate wake. This included Star Trek, whose film assets went to Viacom and the IP itself went to CBS, causing a massive rift in how the franchise was to proceed moving forward into the future. Now, with both companies back under one roof, redubbed Viacom CBS Incorporated, Star Trek producers can finally make content for both these small and large screens.